Hey, my beautiful Taurus. Welcome to Swift Intuition. If this is your first time on my channel, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button if anything resonates. So today, ooh, today Taurus, we're going to do uh, your reading. It's just pretty much what spirit wants you to know. And um, we're going to go from there. This is not your first time on my channel. Hey, family. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. Starting off this energy reading. Um, the first card is the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles speaks of um, pretty much like giving and giving, receiving or not receiving something. So in the past, this could be uh, something that happened in your recent past that um, it wasn't an equal given, a give a give and receive type ordeal. It was like if it was financially, one person was giving more than the other. If it was emotionally, one person was giving more emotionally than the other. And then we have this five of wands. So the five of wands was jumped out, which turned over first, uh, telling you that there's a lot of conflict. Um, I feel like it's like a money situation where... I feel like a uh, Taurus, like either you or someone feels like they were given too much. They were doing too much or uh, providing too much. And either the other person was sitting there like, I feel unappreciative and, and, and just like they felt entitled. And I feel like there was some competition to feel your person felt like there was competition to, um, like it was other people who had their hand out too. So it's like I feel like it was a it was like a competition between somebody trying to be the one who can get the most from you. Or vice versa. You know how energy is. Messages of love and light. I'll turn this over. Okay, and then we have the eight of pentacles. So the eight of pentacles really speaks of um oh, excuse me. Somebody could be very, very tired of all this, whatever's going on. Because cause I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like somebody is really trying to just pull their self together and see exactly what do they want to deal with. It's like trying to sort out the chaos. That's what I'm seeing. So, Taurus, if this is you, I feel like right now you could just be taking yourself away from the energy. You could just be watching these people trying to fight over these goods or, or trying to... Um, Cause I'm getting the energy of, it's like they want to be somebody wants to be right up under you, like they if you, I feel like like you have people like let's just say if you well off and let's say you you have somebody that you with who tries to monitor how much you give like this is my shit like would you mind your business like you know tapping into somebody trying to tap into your pockets I see the Ace of Pentacles. And that speaks of like a new, um, a new beginning, a new fine. It could be a new financial start, a new, uh, somebody wants something long term or solid. The, we get the four ones. So right now it's something that Taurus did. This was a, uh, this could have been like a family, a family home. Like you could be married and it, it wasn't equal give and take in that household. It's like somebody felt they were, they were bringing more to the table than the other, or someone was got too comfortable with just doing, I want, I'm going to say the bare minimum. If not the bare minimum, it's like someone got too accustomed to one thing and something changed and uh i guess the comp it, it became too much competition and with the high priestess here it's like this is something that you could have already known that was going on this it's like if somebody knows there's competition and it's like without without them physically catching somebody they put like one in eight three 10,000 together and they like they know that there's something else and there's some more chaos going on it's like 
It's like, how do you know that? This person, if this could be you, this could be a person where you know something else could be going on that's causing some type of conflict. And as you're sitting back trying to sort all of this conflict out, it's like whoever you are not giving to anymore or is not giving to you, it's like they they see everything that's going on. And they're just, they're at this point where, you know, I, I don't, I, I just feel like this person is not looking towards this conflict. And the conflict is whatever this home dynamic is. It's like if somebody has a, a home or a family and they are always in conflict with them on giving and whoever this divine being is, they're like, you know, they're at this point in their life where all the conflict they dealt with is behind them. All the all of the um all of the unequal give and take, they're done with that. That's in the past. And because right now this person is is who whoever um Taurus, if this is you, it's like right now you are in this element where it's like you're not you're not dealing with anything, dealing with any type of drama. You're not dealing with anything, dealing with any type of um, non give and take that like like it's not equally like you're not equally yoked. You know, it's no, I'm not settling. And right now with the Queen of Cups, I feel like you're looking for. You're looking for somebody that's more loving if this, um, because the queen of cups is somebody that is, that's nurturing. She's very, uh, loving and giving could be very spiritual. And, uh, right now I feel like if this is your energy, somebody, somebody is going within their self and they are really trying to listen to, to, uh, their intuition of their higher self so that they could sort whatever this drama is that keeps this around this household there's like a, a home somebody's either either you or so, either somebody has has created another home outside of or is given to another home so if somebody could be married and let's say they got a side chick and then let's just say that they are, uh, let's just say Taurus because it's your read. Let's just say you got a wife at home if you a man or you got a husband at home if you a woman. And and let's just say that you are, and let's say you got a side chick or a side dude, whatever, and you are putting, you're putting funds, resources into them like you are somebody else's resource. So... It's like, and this is what, and, and your person, you know, I feel like you got it to do it, but if you don't, it's like your person is so used to you giving to them that it's like now since they may start seeing little, I don't know if it's they see something or they pay attention, but it's just a lot of drama. I just see spirit. Matter of fact, let me get a look. Let me dive deeper. Spirit, what is the five of wands? This is five of ones. Five of ones is uh competition with a lover. And then the second card, this is to have Gemini here. But then you have the lovers uh with this competition. So this could be somebody well clearly in another relationship or something. And this right here is a, a, the three of wands. This is a waiting card. It's like the confrontation is somebody is waiting on, ooh, Taurus. Dude, somebody is waiting on you to make a decision. Or this could be your partner. Take the energy as it goes. But, yeah. And this is the conflict between you and them because they feel like they're competing. And this could be somebody that's used to you giving and might just want, you know, could just want you for one particular thing. Because I see this person, like, they're also in another energy. It's like they're just sitting here trying to see what, you know, like, the right time to get what they want. Because everything is laid before them. And there's somebody down here. It's like 
uh, it could be two people you're dealing with, which I already said before. But it's like this person, the high priestess, like she, it's like the high priestess knows what's going on. It's like she can see with her eyes closed. But anyway. And this person could be very mystical, could be very uh, spiritual. Uh, and then this, to me, the Queen of Cups, and this is another spiritual card. So if this is both of her energies, I feel that this spiritual person already sees what's happening between you and your other person, Taurus. And it's like this person is real caring, nurturing, but it's like, I feel like your person is like, they're going to, you know, they're going to back back and let you see what's coming because it's something happening. Well, clearly, life is going on. There's, there's clearly something happening. Look at Taurus. Where we at? Okay, Tim. Messages of love and light. What a beautiful Taurus. says, passion. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, in one of these situations, I feel like, well, the lovers look real passion. I feel like. Hey, so you make the decision, enjoy yourself, Taurus, because there is a lot of passion coming your way, or somebody, and also somebody wants to, uh, somebody wants to experience this passion with you. They like want you to be all into them. It's like somebody wants you to uh, be infatuated with them. What's that about? Then we have honeymoon. Uh, enjoy the bliss holiday to time together. So this could be somebody that you're currently spending holidays or planning on. Yeah, this looks like somebody planning planning something. So they could be planning on spending a holiday with you because this person wants you to be drawn into them. And if they know about this other person, they really don't want you to... Um, I'm getting an older ver uh older lady. Well, yeah, well, it's cards, of course, but I'm getting an older lady and a youthful um and a youthful lady. Someone so either your wife could be or your husband, your partner could be one could be older and one could be like younger than you, way younger. We did say it's safe for you to love. That was at the bottom of that deck. Messages of love and light. Uh, not enough frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage. So, because this fell down here, whoever is the Queen of Cups could be the uh, the older lady or gentleman. I feel like they get frustrated because they feel that um, they're not enough. And it could be because of instances that they could see or know about third party situations. And, um, yeah, and a lot of times they could, uh, where it says self sabotage the, the relationship because they could do things that they know, uh, is going to hinder the, the, the relationship. But they do it because this is what they're used to, is what they revert to. Key on a ring, many options, decisions, uh, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So I feel like right now, people, y'all yeah, both are contemplating on just living in the moment. Well, especially whoever this energy is, uh, old lady. I <laughs> said you saying older lady, but the more, yeah. Whoever this person is, they're they're starting to decide on if they're going to entertain other people. And I feel like they have been partying with friends, probably getting a little high. I see the little motions. All right, last card. And we have self-indulgence. So focus on self, self-worth. So right now, I think your person is at a place where they're healing, or you could be at a place where you're healing. And it's like, or, and this could be your energy as well, um, that you're just trying to figure out what it is that you really want. And just like, so it's why you're pulling back your energy to just look at the situations. How can I cut down this confrontation, this drama? Because I feel like you don't want to deal with that anymore. All right, Taurus, I hope that brought you some type of, uh, 
clarity. I love you guys. Love yourself. Like and subscribe. <laughs>